Hi, my name is John from Final Cut Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to get out of the habit of dragging and dropping on your timeline and use the tools that Final Cut Pro has to make your edits faster and easier and more accurate. So let me show you what I mean. So a lot of people, when they start Final Cut Pro and they start editing Final Cut Pro, it's they figure out that it's really easy to drag and drop into the timeline. You know, they just drag things in and then they, you know, they, they tweak them in the timeline, they drag them out and they do this and that. But, you know, that's really time consuming and there's a lot of better ways to do it. You know, in Final Cut, there's like five different ways to do everything, but there's always one good way to do it. And here we're going to concentrate on this toolbar right here. And these are your basic editing tools. Okay, and so the way I teach people to edit is that you would pick your in and out here. So here I would go in my in, hit I on the keyboard and say I want till there. And I'm just picking random clips. And this button right here, this is the append uh, selected clip to the primary storyline. So basically, and you can see the shortcut is E on your keyboard. So if I hit this, what's really great about this command is that no matter where my playhead is here, when I hit this append to the end of the storyline, it the clip always goes at the end of the timeline. It doesn't matter where your playhead is. All the other tools, it does matter where your playhead is, but this one it doesn't. So here I can pick this clip here and pick my in point and I can pick my out point. And when I hit append, it doesn't matter if I'm looking at my my um, timeline, I hit the append, that clip goes to the end of the timeline. So that's really handy when you're roughing out that you can sort of scroll your timeline and just look at what you have. Then you say, okay, I want this to be the next clip here. So I pick my in, I pick my out. Maybe I go a few frames over for my out. So I hit the arrow key and I hit my out again. And then I hit append. And even though my playhead is here, the clip goes to the end of the timeline. So that's one way to use the append button. The second button we have here is the insert button. Okay, if you mouse over that, you'll see that the shortcut for the insert button is W. So let's say I have a, a new clip. I take this, I make my in point, I make my out point. Now a lot of people, they would drag this in and they, you know, stick it in between, let everything separate and stick it in between. I'm going to undo that. But if you use this insert button, it's where your playhead is. So here I can move my playhead. I have my snapping on right here. So my playhead snaps. Now, it, now it's off. So it doesn't snap to the cut here. So if I put my snapping back on, it snaps to the beginning of each cut. And you know you're at the beginning of each cut is because you have this little mark right here. Okay. This tells you you're at the first frame of the cut. And that's the only place when you insert between cuts that you can insert. Otherwise, you'll either leave frames behind or you push frames forward. Let me show you what I mean. So I hit the insert button and it inserts that clip exactly where the playhead is. And if I was in the middle of a clip, so let's make this a little bigger here. I'll make it bigger this way too. So if I was in the middle of a clip where my playhead is now and I go to put a clip in, so I pick my in, I pick my out, and I hit the insert button. It cuts that clip in half. Okay, so wherever that playhead is, it inserts the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So now, let's say that I want to insert here. Now, because I have this mark here, I know I'm at the beginning of the clip. But if I was one frame, let's say, back from that mark, I would get this mark here and this tells me this mark right here this tells me I'm at the last frame of the clip before okay so if I insert here what's gonna happen is I'm gonna push one frame forward okay so if I go ahead and insert this clip I pushed one frame forward and I'll have what's called a, a loose frame so it's one frame of video in between two clips so if I play it you might see it it's a really quick flash. We call that a flash frame or a loose frame. So if you blow up the timeline, you will actually see that frame of video that I pushed forward. And it's right there. 
Okay, it's because I wasn't at the beginning of the clip. So I'm going to just hit delete on that. Okay, and I'll make my timeline a little smaller. So here I can use my, I can snap, to, you know, with my skimmer or the, or the playhead. If my skimmer is off, you know, I can use my up and down arrow keys to navigate through the timeline, cut to cut, and it always goes to the first frame of, of the cut. So I like to do that better. The skimmer can be kind of annoying sometimes when you're scrolling through and, you know, you, you just want your playhead to be in a certain place. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the skimmer off for now. So again, the insert button is really good when you're putting between clips. Instead of taking a clip, um, I'll make an in and out here, just random. Taking a clip and dragging it and trying to find the place uh, to insert it. When your playhead is there, you don't have to worry about that. So if I move my playhead here and I do an insert, I know that that clip's going to go in between there. I don't need to look for that clip and drag it down and, and uh, you know, I might make a mistake and put it in the wrong place. So here's my in, here's my out. I hit the insert button or the shortcut E and it inserts that clip into the timeline in between the two clips. Okay, so let's say now I go to some um, interview footage. Let's see, I'll go here and just grab some random interview footage. Here's some interviews here my keywords and um, I'm going to take uh, from here here's my endpoint to here here's my out point and I want this at the end and even though I can't see the end of the timeline I know that if I hit this append button that clip will go to the end of the timeline so that's what I really like about using the append button is you don't have to worry where your playhead is if you're roughing out you can just hit it and you know that clip will go to the very end of the timeline so now I want to B-roll this clip with some footage. So here I'm going to, I want to start B-rolling here. So I'm going to go to, let's see, if we have some B-roll here. Okay, so I'm going to pick it in. I'm going to pick it out. And I want that to go right here where the playhead is. Okay, so now I'm going to use this connected clip button. And this, and you can see that Q is the shortcut. And I can either hit the button or hit Q. And when I hit that, the clip goes on top of the clip exactly where the playhead was. So I, I placed it exactly where I wanted. That's my B-roll. I have the audio also with the clip, so I can always pull it down. But let's say, I'm going to undo that. Let's say that I don't want the audio to go in on the clip, okay? So here's where I can drop this menu down. And I'll say video only, okay? So when I hit the... Uh, connected clip button you can see that the audio doesn't go in here or let's say I just want the audio so I'm gonna undo that and this time I'll go here and I'll say audio only and I'll hit the connected clip button now we'll put it underneath just the audio without the video so maybe there's a voiceover that you want or some music um, so that's the way you can separate audio and video um, from your clip and that works for pretty much all the buttons. If I, you know, I have a, a clip here and here's my, my in and out, my in is here, here's my out. Okay, and I want to put this at the end of the timeline but with just the video. So I would drop this menu down again, say video only, and use my append button. That goes, even though my playhead was here, that goes to the end and you can see there's no audio in it. And also, the same thing with the, if I just want audio, if I hit my in here and I hit my out and I drop this little arrow down, I say audio only and I say put it at the end with the append button. Now it just puts the audio down into the main uh, timeline at the end. So now I'm going to put my drop down to video and audio, so get all. And let's say that I want to overwrite a clip. So here I'm going to get... Um, some different footage here. So I'll we'll go back to interviews here. And I'm going to pick an in and I'm going to pick an out point. And so here, if I put my playhead here, I have an in and an out. This button here is an overwrite button. What this is going to do is take this clip here, start it here and overwrite whatever it goes on top of. So nothing is going to push in the timeline. It's going to overwrite the actual clip that's there. So not del delete it, but you'll still have it in your browser. But if I hit it, you can see that it overwritten 
what was here. It didn't push anything, but it went right on top of it. And again, it matters where your playhead is when you hit any of these buttons except the append button. So here, if I have a clip here and I pick an in and I pick a random out and I put that here with my playhead here and I say overwrite, it's going to take this clip and overwrite this section of the timeline. So I hit that and you can see it just overwrites it and just every, nothing moves and leaves everything where it is. So let's go to a different sequence now that has a little more stuff in it. Um, let's see, I have a cuts here and I'm going to go to here. So here we have a sequence with a lot of cuts in it. And here's where dragging and dropping just might not be the way to go because let's say uh, I go to some uh, interview footage here. So I'm going to take some of this. So I pick an endpoint here. I play a little bit. I'm going to play a little fast motion. I pick an out point. Now let's say that I want that here. Now this is a really long clip. This is a, a 30 minute clip, I think. And so I can't really grab this that easy, but I did pick my in and out, but I can't really see it. But I know my in and out are there because I chose it. So now to try to grab that and drag that in, I would have to extend these clips uh, to a, a bigger size. Okay, so that I can see the, to get the little hand, but I don't want to have to do that every time on the long clips. So I know I picked my in and out here and I want to insert it. So I'm going to hit my up arrow key. I know I'm at the first frame of this clip. So I don't have to worry. I hit the insert button and it pushes everything over and inserts that clip where I want it. If your cut is really complicated, you know, and it gets longer and longer, you know, like a lot of cuts will when they're compressed, like say here, I'm going to delete this big clip here. Um, it's not so easy to drag in and find where you want to go. But if you use your tools here, like for instance, if I pick it in here and I pick it out, and my playhead is here. I know when I hit the append button, it goes to the end. I don't have to worry where my playhead is. If I delete that, you know, and I hit my a random in and a random out, and these are pretty long clips, and I want it to go between here. I could hit my up arrow key. I know I'm at the first frame of this shot because I have this marker here. So then I hit my insert button. It pushes everything over exactly where I want it, and puts the clip in exactly where I want it. So you can see how this could be, a, if you get used to using these tools instead of dragging and dropping um, on the timeline, you can be a lot more accurate. So if I wanted to, you know, put something in, uh, let's go to a, some shorter clips here. So say I take this clip and I want to put it in and I just drag it and I have to find, the, I have to make sure it moves over. That's kind of a pain that to make sure that moves over. And now I have to tweak it here. So I have to go here and then I have to go here. It takes a lot of time. It's easier to pick your ins and outs here and, and use, you know, your frame by frame buttons here to accurately pick your ins and outs. So here I'm going to pick my in and here I'll go a few frames over with my right arrow key and pick my out. And I know that I can up, use the up and down arrow key to navigate through each clip. It goes to the first frame of each clip. So here I can put that clip in between here. Now, because this is connected to this, this won't move. Okay, and I'll get into more of the connected clips in the next tutorial. But if I insert that, you can see it pushed everything over at that point in time. So if you understand the tools, uh, to use to edit into the timeline, it makes it a lot easier and faster to get your clips in and more accurately and you spend less time dragging and dropping and, you know, trying to tweak your clips to where you want them. And it's all about saving time, you know, and making editing more pleasurable. Please subscribe or like if you want and I'll put up another tutorial soon. Thank you.